This video looks up three typical inequality type questions you might be faced in the exam. Now in the first one it asked us to list all integers, i.e. whole numbers, which satisfy a given inequality. Now n lies between minus 1 including minus 1 and 4 but not including 4. So the whole numbers which satisfy this are minus 1, because I can include minus 1, then 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, but I don't include 4. So again, remember, this there includes minus 1. The absence of it there means don't include 4. So in the second part, we're asked to write down what this represents. Now, clearly, it is any number between minus 4 and 3. But the open circle means don't include minus 4. So our value n in this case is bigger than minus 4, but not including minus 4. And we can go as high as 3. So our number is less than 3, but we can include 3. So there we go. n is bigger than minus 4, or less than and including 3. If you're asked to then solve an equation in which there is an inequality, we solve it like any normal equation, but maintain the symbol throughout. So if I add 2 to both sides, 3y is bigger than 7. If I then divide by 3, I get y is greater than 7 over 3. 